This morning, convicted sex offender Tommy Boyd back in custody hours after leaving a St. Louis hospital. Police writing, this arrest was a culmination of local, state and federal law enforcement collaborating to keep our public safe. The 45-year-old who is serving a 30-year sentence for sexually assaulting a child was seen here on surveillance video early Thursday, casually walking out, despite the hospital saying Boyd was being guarded by two corrections officers when he escaped. He is considered to be dangerous. The warning prompted local schools to boost security and cancel after school activities. Meanwhile, in Indiana, authorities are ramping up the search for murder suspect Kevin Mason. It's been more than a week since he was accidentally released from jail. We will not stop and we will not sleep until he is brought back into custody. U.S. Marshals now offering a $10,000 reward. And officials in Indianapolis say their search is expanding to other cities. We're following leads uh, within Indianapolis. It also led us uh, to information that he may not be within Indianapolis, so we're running down all leads right now. The Marion County Sheriff's Office says a 28-year-old was mistakenly released last Wednesday, two days after his arrest, due to a clerical error. Mason was wanted on three warrants in Minnesota, including a second-degree murder charge for his alleged role in a shooting in 2021. It makes me want to lock the door if that's the case, <laughs> if there's someone out here. Authorities arrested Mason's girlfriend, who they say picked him up after he walked out of jail. They also waited six days to alert the community of his accidental release, calling it a tactical move. Do you still stand by that decision to, to wait six days to alert the community? I think our decision to do that, absolutely. What we had at the time and the information we had at the time, that was the best option that we had. But that's not sitting well with some residents. They should have notified everybody at the, the same, same time. Yeah. And not just waiting six, six days. Six days, that's a long time. That gave them a chance to get away. And as of this morning, it is still unclear if Kevin Mason is still in Indianapolis. Officials would not specify exactly where they are searching, but did say anyone who is helping him will be criminally charged. Savannah. All right, Kathy Park, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.